I've lived in the same house since I was a child. It's an old house. My dad said it was built 200 years ago and I believed him. Every night the floors would create an ominous creak. Even though the creaks and pops racked horror through my entire body, it wasn't the main thing that kept me up at night. My parents always thought I was an insomniac, but I've never told them why I really stay up every night, in fear that they would laugh at me and call me childish, but I knew something was wrong, very, very wrong. My room, like any other room, was connected to a hallway. My family's coat rack was in front of my door, so every time I would lie down in my bed, I could see the coat rack perfectly. My bedroom door fell off its hinges a few years ago, due to an incident that happened when I was about nine. My mother's coat was hanging on the first rack. The second rack held my sister's hat, gloves and coat. The third hook held my winter sweater and finally at the fourth hook my father always put his jacket on this hook. My father was a tall man so obviously he needed a big jacket. The jacket was dark brown and had long outstretching arms. Every night I would lie awake just staring at it. It was such an old jacket, it always looked like a silhouette of a man looking at me. The jacket would always stare back at me. It's like it had eyes of its own. Father said that he was going out of town for a few days with my mother. My sister was also leaving to stay at a friend's house all night. It was round 11 when I got into bed. I noticed that my father brought his jacket with him. I was relieved that I wouldn't have to spend another night with that jacket staring at me through my doorless room. I slept well for some of the night, except for the creaks waking me up every hour or so. For some reason, there were no more creaks than usual. I woke up around three in the morning. I froze when I saw the silhouette of a dark, brown, shadowy figure standing near my coat rack. I thought my parents just came back early. I had this thought in my head until I saw a metallic glow in the figure's right hand. 